Today in the anatomy lab is our illustration of the hand, which we're going to label and walk you through the muscles. First, as always, let's orient ourselves with the directions. This here is the anterior, or we can say palm our side of the hand, our palm, right? The thumb sticks out in a way, in anatomical position, so it tells us that this is our lateral side. Let's label it in. And the pinky is inside on the medial side. The hand muscles are divided into intrinsic and extrinsic groups. All intrinsic means is that these muscles are entirely within the hand. And for extrinsic, exit, these muscles are originating in the forearm. Okay, cool. Let's go layer by layer. First, check out this mnemonic I have for you for the intrinsic muscles of the hand. All for one and one for all. All for one. A is for abductor pollicis brevis, F for flexor pollicis brevis, and O for opponent's pollicis muscle. And is for the adductor pollicis muscle. Now the last three, one for all. O for the opponent's digiti minimi, F for the flexor digiti minimi, and A for the abductor digiti minimi. These will make sense when we go over these again in labeling. Wanted you to just have this for now. Now, to see the superficial muscles of the hand, we'll use our model hand with these muscles. First, you'll come across a palmar aponeurosis, which is this thick fascia that covers and protects all the underlying muscles, nerves, and vessels. Once you remove this, underneath it, we'll go over to the first base, the thenar eminence, which from now on you can refer to as the mound of your thumb, and the hypothenar eminence, which refers to the mound of your pinky. Also, we're talking about the intrinsic muscles of the hand in this lesson, but we do have some labeling of the extrinsic muscles whose bellies are located in the forearm, but their tendons extend into the hand. Here we see the flexor digitorum profundus tendon. Over here, the flexor digitorum superficialis muscle tendon. Down below and laterally is the flexor pollicis longus muscle the tendon, and medially is the palmaris longus muscle tendon. We'll talk about these more in a future lesson. For thenar muscles of the thumb, we have the abductor pollicis brevis, which is action is to abduct the thumb. Abduction means a child being abducted away from the midline. And then we have flexor pollicis brevis, which flexes the thumb. And finishing off the thenar muscles is the opponent's pollicis muscle, which opposes the thumb by rotating it towards the palm. Look, I care a lot about the meaning of these words. So just know, pollicis means of the thumb. It's a Latin word, so don't forget it. Now for hypothenar, which is the pinky, we begin with the abductor digiti minimi muscle. This here abducts the little finger, draws it away. Then the flexor digiti minimi brevis. This muscle flexes the little finger, as its name suggests. And then for the pinky, or we should say minimi, which is just Latin for the smallest, in our case the mini finger, the pinky. Finally we have the opponent's digiti minimi, which opposes, as the name suggests. Its action is opposing the little finger towards the thumb. Nice, now let's go a little deeper. We have this illustration that still shows our thumb area for the opponent's pollicis and flexor pollicis brevis muscles and the pinky, hypothenar area, with the opponent's digiti minimi muscle. But we're going deeper. And note, in this illustration, we also show you the fibrous digital sheath, which prevents bowstring of the tendons and encloses the flexor tendons. This here is again the flexor digitorum profundus muscle tendon, and here is the flexor digitorum superficialis muscle tendon. The deeper intrinsic muscles of the hand are critical for fine motor control. First, you have the lumbricals here, which are known for flexing the MCP joints and extending the PIP and DIP joints of the fingers. Now the innervation is interesting. The lateral two lumbricals are median nerve and the medial two lumbricals are ulnar nerve. I'll explain a trick for this in just a bit. Next up is the palmar interossi muscles, which adduct the fingers towards the midline. They are palmar adductors. And the dorsal interossi muscles are abducting the fingers away from the midline. These are your dorsal abductors. Common name for these is that we call them pads and dabs to recall palmar ads and dorsal abs, ABs. Both these muscle groups are innervated by the ulnar nerve. 
Now finally, in the deep muscles is our adductor pollicis muscle. Just by the name, you already know it has something to do with the pollicis, which is the thumb. And in the name, it says adductor, so it adducts the thumb. This is innervated by the ulnar nerve. Now remember we said the medial two lumbricals are innervated by the ulnar nerve, and the lateral two lumbricals are innervated by the median nerve. Well, if you look, all the thenar muscles are innervated by the median nerve. We said in the very beginning, the thumb is lateral. So we got the median nerve going laterally. So the lateral two lumbricals has to be the median nerve. And the hypothenar, the pinky, is medial to the body. So medial two lumbricals are obviously innervated by the same as the hypothenar muscles, which are all on our nerve. Another mnemonic you can remember is meatloaf. Meat is to remind you of the median nerve. And loaf refers to the muscles that the median nerve innervates. The lateral two lumbricals, opponent's pollicis, abductor pollicis brevis, and flexor pollicis brevis. The thumb plus two lumbricals are meaty, meaning they are innervated by the median nerve. This was a pretty straightforward lesson, and you don't really need me as this can be found on diagrams. But sometimes walking through these regions together can really help retain the information. Watch it again if you need to, and support us by subscribing. More soon. Oh yeah, here's a table with everything you need, like the origin, insertion, innervation, and all that kind of stuff. Here it is if you need it. See you in the next lesson. If you'd like to see more of this lesson, head over to our Instagram page and TikTok channel at rev.med. We'll have this lesson along with many other topics for you to study. By the way, don't forget to do questions. Are you learning something from our videos? Well then click the subscribe button to your right. We are releasing high yield lessons and ways for you to get ahead in class. Be sure to follow us on Instagram to take interactive quizzes and view your favorite diagrams. Nothing can stop you, but only if you believe in yourself. You got this.